Welcome to the show. Better late than never, huh? Well, I have to say, I was hoping to start at about 3 o'clock and uh, we're now nearly a full half hour in from that. Chalk it up to bad time management on my part and also uh, a few stumbling uh, points along the way, um, most notably my mouse, uh, the batteries on my mouse ran out immediately before we were due to start the stream, but luckily I was able to find another couple to swap out, so we're back in business. On today's stream we're gonna uh, apply the, the final touches to this page, page 21. I'm not sure exactly how much we're going to get done, but what I want to do is uh, add the background for this first panel. And uh, after that we're going to letter it. But I don't know if we're going to do the lettering on stream today, but we will uh, at least get the background done. So uh, Let's go. What I want to do for the background for this panel is it's going to be kind of abstract, so we're not going to do any, you know, real world, three dimensional rendering of elements or anything like that. It's more of a mood um, uh, background. I'm not sure exactly how I'm going to do it. I sort of know from the mock-up, wherever the mock-up is. It's kind of supposed to be a bit of a, a strobe effect. I just need some wiggly lines like that. Oh. Moved up too far. Some of the way lines that intersect. We're not going to worry too much if we go over Kevin's head because that's in a separate layer. And they're going to get a bit thicker as they go up. Sort of the wispiest. Up here, they're a bit thicker. And then as we go, as we start to go, we'll start to increase the the thickness of the lines a bit. We need to make sure that at least some of the lines are in the back of Corinne's head here. using the tablet we're going to apply a bit more pressure as we go up. The lines are really starting to thicken. And I don't think we've really spoken about what's happening in on this page and sort of what the scene is about but spoiler alert so Corinne returns from her adventures as Corby in issue 4 and on this page what's happening is that Sadie is like where have you been I can't I've been trying to get in touch with you and you weren't answering your phone. 
<laughs> I'd kind of sort of has to make a lot of excuses and go, oh, well, I was very sick and all this kind of stuff. You, you were right, I was overextending myself. And, uh, then Sadie reveals that, uh, as per the previous set of pages that we were working on a couple of weeks ago, uh, that, uh, Tuesday from the IC had agreed to, uh, uh tried to negotiate uh, a truce. Because uh, the IC were so humiliated by getting knocked down by Kirby, and they just went to uh, make sure everybody forgets about the whole thing and never talks about it. So there you go. I'm kind of giving you a bit of insight into what's going to happen in the next few pages. I'm really giving the game away, in fact. Okay, so now we've done that. We can still refine this a bit further, but... And also, Sadie, uh, of course, is really enthusiastic about Kirby and, uh... Starts pointing out that, oh, she should have been the supply room and just... The place just got wrecked and Kevin didn't even remember that, so you can see this is all a bit awkward. She had been through so much that at that point what happened in the supply room is the last thing on her mind. So some of this was still a bit uh could still use a little bit more refinement. And of course a lot of this is going to get covered up by speech bubbles, that's the case for all the the background elements. But now we can go in and clear away some of this as well. Just using the selection tool. And we might end up with a few well, elements that just overlap there a bit too much, so we've got to be careful. Get rid of those. It doesn't have to be every stroke, it doesn't have to be perfect though.
Okay, I just remembered there was something else I forgot to add in as well. And now I'm just randomly making another layer, which is that see these tights need to be filled in just so they're consistent from panel to panel. So we'll leave a little bit there just to indicate where the kneecap is. I sort of have a, a mental checklist at this point of things that I need to do before the page is completed. So, uh, yeah, I did a little bit of uh, work on this page last night. And actually, I kind of felt like I could have finished the page last night, but I figured I would hold off a bit so, so that I could uh, do the rest of the work here on stream with all of you. But. You know, probably shouldn't do that. On the rare occasion when I'm actually productive and I'm getting things done, I should just, you know, push through and finish up. You know, if I finish one page, it's like, well then let's just get moving and let's get on to the next one.
I added in a couple of posters here that are supposed to be on the wall and for some reason I put them in the wrong layer so they're not actually with the background. That was kind of stupid of me. Um, I guess we could write something in here. Is the raccoons are well, the raccoon is the mascot of Karen and CD School and Ideal Academy. And it's gonna be a plot point later in the future, but I'm not gonna elaborate on that because I've said too much in this on the stream already today about future events in actual fact I just realised that's part lowercase, part uppercase, let's change that So, so I'm, just, I'm sitting here trying to think about what I'm going to put in this poster and I'm absolutely doing a blank <laughs> Let's just make it something like only you can. I was gonna say only you can prevent forest fires, I don't know, that's the sort of thing I put on the wall. I'll just put event schedule. Thing you might find in school classroom, and then underneath we'll just have some. Things like that.
And actually I have some other signs up here that I need to finish off as well. And I think this is going to get blocked off, at least in part, by the speech bubble, but okay. Yeah, I could actually just use the lettering tool for this, but I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to do that because uh, I want the, the lettering to feel like it's more of a part of the background elements and not part of the lettering elements if that makes sense like as in I don't want it to be interpreted by the reader as an important thing that you should be reading as the way that you would read the text it's not actually part of the text on the page that's going to drive the story forward and like I said it's going to be partly obscured anyway so We're just making some of those, like school propaganda type posters, the sort of things that, that you would see about in the school.
See, this is the, uh, the reality of making comics is some days I get to draw Kirby just like, uh, you know, punching somebody across the room. Some days they're just making letters like this, painstakingly. Drawing some background detail that's just going to get obscured anyway. <laughs> and it's this more often than it's like the exciting stuff than the punching or whatever. And again, the S is going to be mostly obscured by Sadie's head here. So.
actually we only stopped at the three handles. I'm just trying to uh, I could start all going here. I could just use the tool. It doesn't need to be perfectly round. In fact, it might look better if it's not for my purposes here. I don't know why there's going to be a little sun up here. <laughs> it's just like a painfully sort of cheery, optimistic. Maybe two years ago, and this is like a cool sun in the top corner because that's that sort of cheery motivational sort of poster which in this school is uh, you know that much more ironic but it, it's just going to get obscured by the speech bubble which is going to fill that whole space up anyway so it's it's almost like it's going to be one of those things that's going to be one of those little in jokes I think that uh that you and I will share on, on stream here because I don't think it's going to be visible in the final comic once it appears online. Okay, we're going to add another poster here. This one, the angle of it is a bit off, but sometimes it's nice to just have if you have a poster or something like that hanging on the wall. You know, maybe it's not going to be aligned completely correctly, so it helps to you know, get across the idea that this is something somebody's hung up on the wall and they didn't even hang it up straight. Makes the environment feel a bit more genuine and a bit less clinical and for this one I'm just going to take we'll just we'll just write something like vacuum pride In fact, I don't like that actually. There we go. Um, 
I really hate Sadie's skirt on this panel. It's too big, but it's one of those things where if I start to try and change it now, it's like what I was saying on yesterday's stream. It's going to have a huge knock-on effect. And also, again, if we go back to I keep switching on the panel, the speech bubbles, but speech bubbles are going to block off most of this lower part of this panel anyway, there's a lot of text to go in this particular panel, so it's not worth my, it's not worth the time investment to go back and, and change that now. We'll just have to live with the knowledge that um, even if I'm not happy with this art, at least you know I know that it's going to be obscured probably by the speech bubble. Um, I'm trying to think if there's anything else I want to change. I would like to add some more black elements to the, the third um, the background of the third panel because it's a bit drab again. A fair bit of that's going to get covered up anyway. Okay, what we're going to do is we're just going to to just make some
Oh, I left this one blank up here. Right, what we're just going to do is. Innovate something like um, fire exit. I also forgot to add the second hand to that clock, so... Yeah, hand a bit thinner. Like that. I still feel like this... The white to black sort of ratio on this page is a bit too, is a bit off. What I might do is, I was going to say I was going to make the door behind Sadie black, but that is going to. Uh, create some problems because if I do that because her legs are already filled in with black that's gonna all smoosh together and it's gonna create more problems what I could do is take this seat at least Just going to very sloppily do that around this and then fill in the center. There we go. And the idea is just to add a bit more contrast to the image as well. You know, I think another thing that we could do is we could take this blackboard or chalkboard, whatever you want to call it. That'll let me. Um, okay, we can fill in the 
with this a bit later, but we could. Let's cut this to a separate layer, I think. The contents of this. And the paste that's in there, but that has a separate layer. There we go. That'll do. It's not exactly what I wanted, but... At least now we've got a little bit more black going on on the page. Whereas before it was, um... Very sterile looking. I think we could add a little bit more detail to this uh, little window here as well.
Okay, but I think that's going to do it because unless I'm missing something, I think most of the elements that we need for the art are, are, are on the page now. Possibly there's a few little things here and there that will change before it's done, but... Um, we really need to press on and get onto the next page, and the page after that, and the page after that, so... Um, I think this is all due for now. The next step is going to be adding the lettering, and then I'm going to be... Hopefully I'll be happy to leave it at that. Um, so when I see you on the next stream, we should be working on, I would hope, page 22. And I'll try to get the allowing for this done tonight. And uh, I'll try to remember to actually show you what the page looks like with the lettering on it as well. I know you've seen lettered pages uh, on stream before. We've, we've, we've done lettering streams plenty of times, but since we've gone to all this trouble, we've worked on this page for a couple of days. Uh, hopefully, you know, I can actually just show you the finished product before we're done with it. One last thing that I would like to do is... Pull the, the uh... Pull Quinn's temple on a bit here like that, so that it... Bows out a bit towards the cheek, just so that it's a bit more balanced on both sides. Okay, right. There you go, I'm meddling again, I need to just... You know, when I say I'm done, I should just stop and leave it at that. So, uh, yeah, we should be back for another stream tomorrow, hopefully at about this will be, uh, 3 o'clock-ish. And I won't uh, have too many technical problems, fingers crossed. So, I hope to see you tomorrow for the... what day is it tomorrow? Thursday tomorrow. <laughs> I'm losing track of time. I hope to see you tomorrow for the Thursday edition of Club Kirby. <laughs>